Venice High School is located just east of Fire Station 63 on the border between Venice and Mar Vista, which is Fire Station 62's first inn. Venice High School was established in 1911 as Venice Union Polytechnic High School. It is said that classes were originally held in an old lagoon bathhouse just to the west of its current location. In March 1933, the original facility was damaged in the Long Beach earthquake and classes were held in tents for the next two years. The Art Deco facility you're looking at opened in 1935, and like many buildings in Los Angeles, the school has earned its place in film and television history. Most notably, it was portrayed as Rydell High School in the hit film Grease, starring Olivia Newton-John and John Travolta. Notable alumni coming from this school include legendary actress Myrna Loy, actors Bo Bridges and Crispin Glover, along with singer Tina Marie. Unlike many of the stations that serve the city's inner core, Fire Station 63 is fully integrated as part of the beach culture. It is not uncommon to have visitors, both foreign and domestic, show up at 63's front door. Yeah, Venice is known for, you know, like, the tourists, you know, especially in the summertime, so we always get an influx of people that want to come by and, you know, exchange shirts, um, you know, hats, stuff like that, and, and just see the station and talk to us from other departments around the world, yeah. There's also the factor of working with a great Los Angeles City Fire Department team. And really it's not where you work, it's who you work with. So, you know, if these guys were over there, 65s or 64s or whatever, then it would be real cool, you know. I mean, there's some nice guys over there anyway. But um, I just happen to be here. And, um, you know, this side of town, the Venice area, the, you know, the west side, um, this is it. The view from the station's roof is proof positive of all of the advantages Firefighter Boyd spoke of. In fact, Firefighter Boyd told us the crew sometimes retires to the roof for a bit of peace and solitude. Up until recently, they kept a number of lawn chairs out here just for that purpose. From this vantage point, you have a 360 degree view that begins with the Pacific Ocean on the west the northern portion of Los Angeles, including Century City, downtown on the east, and San Pedro on the south. We too became enthralled with the view to the point that we actually locked ourselves out of the building. Hey, can anyone down there hear us? Anybody? The time for our visit at fire station number 63 had come to an end. We managed to get a group shot with the members of truck company number 63. Members of the rescue company and the engine company were dispatched on calls and were not in quarters. Fire station number 63, thanks for having us in. What you've just seen is a small sample of the stations that have been added to the archive. Sure, the buildings might be similar. They might look like one-story bungalows or two-story structures that can house an engine and a truck, but that's where the similarities end. Each station, each crew, and each community has its own unique story and its own unique flavor. Our mission in all of this is to highlight those qualities and record them on film as part of the then and now of your Los Angeles City Fire Department. Venice is known for, you know, like, 
the tourists, you know, especially in the summertime. So we always get an influx of people that want to come by and, you know, exchange shirts, um, you know, hats, stuff like that, and, and just see the station. Hello, everybody. How long have you been in this battalion? This battalion, 12 years. This is homework assignment, this cookbook. It's still on the first page. <laughs> I published this just for him. Earl Boy, he's still on the first page. <laughs>